Controversy continues over how Constable Subhash Tomar actually died. The police now coming out and once again reiterating that the cardiac arrest happened after Subhash Tomar was injured on his neck and chest. KC Devedi there, additional CP saying that these injuries were made by a blunt instrument. However, you also heard the eyewitnesses Pauline and Yogendra Tomar, both of them vouching for the fact that there was nobody around them who had hit Subhash Tomar at that point in time. Atir Khan, associate editor, now joins us with more details. Atir, why is the police not revealing what uh, the doctors have said about how Subhash Tomar actually died? Well, that's, uh, that makes this case all the more mysterious uh, because we have uh, at least three eyewitnesses account and one being one of our own colleagues uh, who says that uh, he did not see anybody uh, you know, assaulting Constable Tober. However, uh, Maha, it was a situation, it was a mob mentality, remember, the mood was that the, um, uh, the mobsters, uh, the people there were agitated, the crowd, and the police has also given a statement that it was hijacked by some hoodlums, by anti-social elements. Therefore, now they are sticking on to, to the stand saying that he was actually injured and following which he, uh, you know, could have died of cardiac arrest. We do not, we do not have the detailed post-mortem report yet, but then uh, the contradiction in police statement has come out uh, but it needs to be seen what strategy police is going to take up in the near future. Are there also uh, KSC Devedi there saying that the crime branch is going to investigate this case? Now give us more details about that. Well, Maha, we know that uh, crime branch is a specialized unit of Delhi police which uh, looks into in investigation. Now since uh, this is a separate case, remember, this is uh, a separate case and not the one which happened in the South Delhi. So therefore now police in this case has time to uh, you know, sort of take their own time and uh, get the facts together and then file a charge sheet. So the post-mortem report would be absolutely crucial. We have a statement from the MS of the same hospital saying that there were no apparent injuries. However, the police is saying that there were rib injuries, there were injuries in the stomach, in the neck, uh, but uh, that baffles everybody because the eyewitnesses failed to discover those injuries. So there's a mystery around it. It seems uh, uh, it'll be further, it'll be further better if an independent agency probes uh, this entire sequence of events. Atir, the eyewitnesses, that's Pauline and Yogendra Tomar, though have said that they didn't see anybody at that point when he had collapsed, that is Subhash Tomar, anybody, any of the protesters hitting him. But uh, the police going by the theory perhaps that he could have been hit earlier on and that he suffered the cardiac arrest at that time. In those circumstances, how crucial will be the post-mortem report? Well, really, yes, uh, this is the uh, uh, stand the police has taken. He uh, could have been injured earlier and uh, there were co causative, uh, causative factors which caused his, uh, you know, cardiac arrest. Uh, however, we know that whatever evidence uh, the police had, the police will have to come up with credible evidence uh, suggesting that he was actually assaulted, failing which uh, uh, the, their case uh, in the court of law would certainly be weak. But also, the post-mortem report will be significant to determine the kind of sections which will uh, stay in the court when the when the police put uh, will put in the case uh, in the in the court of law. Atir Khan, many thanks for getting us all those details.